Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of economics, focusing on a country that's been making waves on the global stage, Indonesia. We'll explore its economic potential, compare it to the other major economies, and dissect how it's managing its natural resources for sustainable growth. So grab your notebooks and let's get started. Let's start by looking at Indonesia's economic potential. With its massive population and strategic geographical location, Indonesia is positioning itself as a potential economic powerhouse in the region. Its population of over 277 million makes it the fourth most populous country globally, trailing only behind India, China, and the USA. And you know what they say, with great manpower comes great economic potential. This immense population, combined with Indonesia's prime location at the crossroads of the international trade routes, gives it a unique advantage. The country is surrounded by some of the busiest shopping lanes in the world, providing easy access to global markets. Not to mention, it's also rich in natural resources such as oil, natural gas, minerals, and fertile farmland. Now let's zoom out and compare Indonesia's economic size, growth trajectory, and challenges with other major players in the global economy. When we look at Indonesia's GDP of 1.2 trillion USD, it ranks as the 16th largest economy globally. Not too shabby, right? However, it's important to consider GDP per capita with around 4,332 USD per person, Indonesia still has a long way to go to reach the global average. To put things in perspective, countries like Australia, with a GDP of 1.6 trillion USD, boast a GDP per capita over 10 times that of Indonesia. But don't count Indonesia out just yet. Its recent growth has been impressive. In the last two decades, its economy has grown more than six-fold. Many experts predict that by 2050, Indonesia could become the third or fourth most powerful economy in the world. Now that's something to watch out for. As we celebrate Indonesia's economic potential, it's important to address a potential pitfall. The resource curve. This phenomenon occurs when a country heavily depends on its natural resources, leading to economic instability and inequality. So how is Indonesia managing this challenge? To avoid falling into the resource curse trap, Indonesia's government has been proactive in diversifying its economy. It's not just about relying on fossil fuel and agriculture exports. The country is investing in infrastructure, manufacturing, and tourism to build a more balanced economic foundation. Moreover, Indonesia is striving for sustainable economic growth. It's using the revenues from its natural resources to invest in infrastructure, education, and other sectors that benefit its people. By doing so, it's aiming to ensure that economic growth is not just rapid, but also sustainable for the long term. Now let's shift our focus to another critical aspect of Indonesia's economic journey. Infrastructure Development With over 17,000 islands making up this vast archipelago, building infrastructure is no small feat. The challenge lies in connecting these islands efficiently to boost economic growth. The government's efforts to overcome these challenges are commendable. Investing in seaports, airports, roads, and power plants is not only crucial for facilitating trade, but also for creating job opportunities and fostering industrial growth. By connecting its islands, Indonesia is paving the way for more integrated and competitive markets. Now, let's talk about a bold move that Indonesia is making, relocating its capital city. Jakarta, the current capital, is plagued by overpopulation, congestion, and pollution. The decision to move the capital to New Sentara, on Borneo, is a response to these challenges and a strategic step towards a more sustainable future. This monumental project will create a new city from scratch, 
addressing urban issues, and potentially boosting economic growth. By decongesting Jakarta and addressing environmental concerns, the government hopes to create a more attractive environment for businesses and investors, which could positively impact Indonesia's economic development. As we continue to explore Indonesia's economic transformation, let's delve into its efforts to diversify its economy. Beyond relying solely on natural resources and agriculture, Indonesia is striving to establish a more balanced economic landscape. One key player in this diversification journey is the manufacturing sector. With its large workforce and low-cost labor, Indonesia has the potential to become a manufacturing hub. By attracting foreign investments and promoting domestic industries, the country aims to create jobs, increase exports, and add value to its economy. But that's not all. Indonesia is also investing in tourism. Its breathtaking landscapes, diverse cultures, and rich history make it a prime destination for travelers. By promoting tourism, the country can generate revenue, create jobs, and foster economic growth in regions beyond the major cities. As we continue our exploration of Indonesia's economic journey, let's shine a light on the pivotal role of education. A skilled workforce is the driving force behind technological innovation and sustainable economic growth. Indonesia recognizes the importance of education in transforming its economy. By investing in quality education and vocational training, the country is equipping its workforce with the skills needed to thrive in a rapidly changing global economy. A well-educated population can drive innovation attract foreign investments, and contribute to the nation's overall economic advancement. Now let's explore the intersection of politics and economics. Political stability, effective governance, and geopolitical relationships play a significant role in shaping Indonesia's economic trajectory and its role on the global stage. Political stability provides a conducive environment for economic growth. A transparent and accountable governance system fosters investor confidence and attracts foreign direct investments. Moreover, Indonesia's geopolitical relationships influence trade agreements, investment partnerships, and its position within regional and global economic networks. As Indonesia aspires to become a global economic partner, it faces a series of challenges on its path to prosperity. Let's discuss some of these obstacles that the nation must navigate. Corruption, for instance, can hinder economic development by diverting resources away from critical sectors. Income equality poses a challenge as ensuring inclusive growth is essential for stability and long-term prosperity. Furthermore, addressing infrastructure gaps is crucial to connect regions, enable efficient trade, and foster economic growth across the archipelago. Thank you for joining me on this insightful journey through Indonesia's economic landscape. From education to politics, challenges to sustainability, we've covered a wide range of factors shaping the nation's economic transformation. If you found this video enlightening, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, the world of economics is full of intricacies and opportunities waiting to be explored. Until next time, stay curious and keep expanding your horizons.